Hi, I'm Wayne Alaroot for Root for America. I give both political and business speeches all over America and all over the world. I know a great speech when I see and hear one. Obama's speech last night at the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, was masterful. It was one of the greatest political speeches I've ever heard. There was only one problem. It was 100% fiction, fraud, and fantasy. If it was given by any CEO in America at a shareholders meeting or a press conference in front of the media, that CEO would face life in prison for fraud and misrepresentation. Any screenwriter in Hollywood could have made it up out of thin air and won an Academy Award. It could have been a speech written by Bernie Madoff. It could have been written by Lucifer himself to be delivered by the Antichrist. It was that good and that flowery, that inspiring and that deceiving and that much complete fiction, fraud, and fantasy. It was pure BS from start to finish. Now, Obama's a great orator, no doubt about that, but he had quite an unfair advantage over the rest of us with that speech last night. Any good actor could deliver a great speech if not one word is true. If you have great material just made up out of thin air, anyone can inspire if every word is fraud, fiction, and fantasy. Obama railed against believing in gods. No man's a god was a central theme. No man could save you, no man could save America, no man could turn around an economy. He was aiming all that at Donald Trump, except Obama was describing himself. Obama's the one who was elected by portraying himself to ignorant, naive, and gullible voters as a god who could walk on water. <clears throat> Obama was elected by portraying himself as the American idol. Obama's the one whose supporters cried and genuflected and said, now that Obama's president, I'll never again have to worry about rent or putting gas in my car. Lucifer himself would be proud. Obama himself is the psychopath, sociopath, and egomaniac who rules the tyrant by issuing executive orders, ignoring the U.S. Constitution, ignoring the rule of law, and making believe Congress doesn't exist. Every word directed at Trump described Obama. Obama's last eight years of rule and Obama's voters. Again, Lucifer would be proud. Obama weaved in great stories about valiant, struggling small businessmen and injured soldiers. He forgot to mention almost every small businessman and every military hero in America despises Obama. Yet he used their stories and their remarkable bravery to make himself look like a great and selfless hero. Lucifer would be proud. Obama described an amazing, growing economy and remarkable recovery because of his wonderful policies, except it never happened. He will leave office having produced the worst economy in history, worse than the Great Depression. His own White House economist announced only days ago, GDP will fall to 1.9% this year. That means Obama is the first and only president in US history to produce eight straight years of GDP under 3%. GDP is the only way to measure an economy. If GDP is bad, your economy sucks. It's that simple. With eight straight years of pathetic GDP, Obama's produced the worst record in 240 years of America's existence. And it's not even close. The all-time record before this was four years in a row, below 3% from 1930 to 33, in the depths of the Great Depression. See what I mean? That makes Obama worse than Herbert Hoover. Obama's worse than everyone in history. Yet Obama took credit last night with a straight face for a great economic recovery. He thinks he saved us. Lucifer would be proud. Then there's the single greatest poison in world history, debt. History proves debt destroys every country and everything it touches. Obama is the most prolific debt producer in world history. He'll leave office having produced a world record 10 trillion in new debt. That's more than every president in American history combined. Obama made no reference to it <clears throat> as if it's of no significance. Even though Obama's 10 trillion in new debt will destroy the quality of life for our children, our unborn grandchildren, and even their children and grandchildren. Obama never bothered to mention that little topic. Lucifer himself would be proud. But Obama's audacity rises to levels never imagined by any other politician in history. Obama not only forgot to mention the debt, he had the audacity to give himself credit for lowering the deficit. No mention that a deficit of zero doesn't matter if your overall debt is an unimaginable world record 20 trillion, or that, yes, deficits are down, but only after Obama became the first president in world history to produce four straight years of deficits over $1 trillion a year, or that the national debt increased by over $200 billion in a day recently, more than the entire year's deficit under Bush. How could anyone deliver a speech like that, omit facts like that, and get DNC delegates standing up, screaming an orgasm? Lucifer himself would be proud. Obama also forgot to even mention terrorism or the, world, or the words radical Islam, despite nonstop Muslim terror attacks for weeks on end. It just isn't possible to skip over that topic. Lucifer himself would be proud. 
Obama's one hell of a poker player. He is scared to death. He knows if Trump's elected, his legacy will be destroyed. Trump will expose everything, all the lies, all the fraud, all the crimes. Trump will undo every executive order on day one. Trump will repeal Obamacare, dismantle the EPA, and expose the IRS conspiracy. People will go to jail. Trump's new attorney general will prosecute Hillary and Bill for the Clinton Foundation's fraud, extortion, and treason. Obama's friends like Al Sharpton, John Corzine, Eric Holzer, Lois Lerner, Jonathan Gruber could all go to prison. And to avoid long terms, they might rat out the man who gave the orders, Obama. Obama's scared and desperate to stop Trump, but he never showed a hint of fear. Yes, Obama is one of a kind, the kind that has Lucifer himself standing and applauding in awe at the audacity of Obama. I'm Wayne Alaroot for Root for America. God bless America and God bless Donald Trump. Save us, Donald.